So if this video gets 10,000 10, likes, I will travel to Nepal and try it for real. Today, by popular demand, I am going to be re-attempting the Gurkha fitness test. This is the second time I'll be attempting these physical fitness tests. If you'd like to see the first one, then you need to check out this video here. The video did so well, it was so popular, and I said that if it got 200 likes, then I would retry the test again with a little bit of additional training. I've done about two weeks in total of training. I kind of wish I'd done a bit more because I'm only just starting to see the benefits and the results of it. So I'm not doing so much weight training, I'm doing a bit more body weight training, and I'm doing hill sprints and things like that. I want to do a massive shout out to all of you who have viewed my video, but especially the viewers in Nepal who have been commenting and they've, they've been really giving me some good information and some good feedback on our last video because they were, there's a lot of things that I don't know. I don't know much about the Gurkhas. I don't know much, much about Nepal, but just hearing what you guys have experienced, I've been hearing from people who have attempted the test for real, I've been hearing about people who've actually done them, completed and gone to serve with the Gurkhas, or whose family members have been in the Gurkhas as well. So it's been really great hearing about it. So thank you so much to you guys for watching, and you're the reason why I've decided to do the second video. Gurkhas are well-renowned and well-respected warriors. So, and I just want to say a massive thank you to my sponsor, Rockman, who's really helped me with this shoot, donating uh, equipment, such as my Garmin running watch, so that I can really check the pacing and the distances a lot more accurately than what I was doing previously on my smartphone, and also as well for helping me with the filming of the video. 800 meter sprint. Absolutely gipping uh, test of um, fitness. Last time I did this run, failed it by about four seconds or so, which I wasn't pleased with because I thought I was going to do a bit better than that. Uh, uh, now, I'm hoping to have improved today. In my last trial, well, I've been doing hill sprints and things like that. In my last trial, a few days ago, I tried the 800 meters just as a bit of a test, a few sets of 800 meters. My best time was still not quick enough. Um, I think it was 2.44, but I want to be getting under 2.40. So I was a bit frustrated with that. I thought I could have done better. So today I'm going to do it. I intend to do it anyway. And the difference I got now is I'm going to spend more time warming up than what I did on my previous attempts. I think I was a bit cold and the weather is a lot colder than when I did it a few weeks ago so uh, I think that could be a factor anyway so I can spend a good time warming up and I'll see you in a bit. Here you can see me pretty dark so I'm pretty pretty much warmed up now spent about 20 minutes warming up. I'm just gonna go all out now just <laughs> just get it done and uh, I'll see you in a few in a few seconds. How's <sighs> uh, uh, it going right? So lap one, 800 meters. Oh God, how's it going? Two minutes 39. One second. Right, I don't know if you can see this now because I was, the last point, it was pitch black. This time I'm still on a street line. Uh, I just walked back to five one. Bloody hell, it was difficult in the dark. <laughs> I couldn't see where I was going. Um, some parts I was just running down the road, I wasn't sure if I was going to trip over anything. Uh, but I just thought, I've got to get this done in, in time. Two, two minutes 39, I was even for sub 240, so I'm happy with that. Just got in there. So I'm moving on to the strength test section. This is the new section now. So it actually replaces the sit up test. Now I'm still going to do the sit up test because I don't want to wimp out from it. So the new test we've got are a static lift. So it's um, a mid thigh lift, it's basically a deadlift. And now the device they use, it has pressure plates, so it doesn't actually move. It's called overcoming isometrics, whereby you actually pull against a bar that doesn't move, but the pressure plates measure your force. I haven't got access to that type of equipment. So what I'm gonna do is load a barbell up with literally all the weight I can put on it. I'm gonna fill it up with all the weight I can, and then I will see if I can lift it. If I can't lift it, I'll just gradually take weight off until I can lift it, and then that'll be the score there.
Set up test goes with incorrect technique. I think it was about 50 something last time. Not much on point, aiming to do 70 today. Arms across the chest, all the way up to the thighs, and then shoulders back on the floor. I lost count there, <laughs> no idea when he did. I'll have to do a, a replay afterwards, however, you should know on screen whether I managed to get the 70 or not. Let's see. Today I'm going to be attempting a challenge and it is inspired by the Gurkha Doko Doko race. <laughs> now, a Doko is a basket and I've decided to try and create my own. Not quite a bamboo basket, not quite as sturdy, but um, we'll see if my, uh, my fortifications if straps and ropes will help me get up the hill. I'll tell you what, let's just go crack on with it. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, how's it look? Mental. Completely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Train your daughter to live it backwards. Pray we ain't make it through the night. Oh, we ain't make it through the night. You can see it. When you look into my eyes. When you look into my eyes. Got a six kilometer run now uphill. Right, and I'm going to be timing this on my. New Garmin watch that um, was kindly, kindly given to me by my sponsor Rockman. So this video wouldn't have been possible without them. It's going to help me track it as we go. All right, so we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's uh, get a move on. So don't they, I bet they don't have to deal with zebra crossings on the docker race. Bloody call quad killer. <laughs> Go. Right, okay, so in this basket it's 25 kilograms. So if this video gets 10,000 10, likes, <laughs> I will try Alton Nepal and try it for real. <laughs> Is that a promise? <laughs> yeah. well, I don't think any of my videos about 10,000 likes, but let's just aim for the stars, shall we? I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Let me know in the comment section. Is it Gurkha? Is it Gorka? Uh, someone said go okay. Let me know in the comments guys, I want to know what your thoughts are on the matter. But basically, the Gurkhas originate from Nepal. And um, every year, thousands of them undergo selection to join the uh, British Army. And uh, test them real hard. So out of well, 1,500 or more recruits, only a handful, only a few hundred ever actually make it. So the competition is fierce and tough. So the final test is the Doko race. 
which involves me carrying a bamboo basket on a neck like this, on a head, sorry, up a very steep hill. It's steeper than this way, but this is the best I can do. Yeah, given my geography. Okay, so update on how my body is responding to this. So, neck is a little sore from the but most of the weight is supported by the neck. I don't know if I've set this up correctly, so I don't recommend trying this at home. Um, and lower back is starting to get a bit worn away with the skins rubbing against the, the, the wooden basket. But other than that, I mean, physically, since the weight's not that heavy. It's just more of the awkwardness. Um, and the fact that I've never tried this before, so it feels quite strange. But um, yeah, let's keep pushing on. <laughs> This is... <laughs> if anything, it shows uh, just... how f***ing difficult it is, yeah. yeah. That was fun. <laughs> ah. Right. So. Take this off. Let's go over there. Total distance there was uh, 6.06 6 kilometers. And, well, I didn't do that too quickly. I did it in just over one hour. Put the elevation up on screen so you guys can see that I didn't just run on the flat. Uh, good fun, that good challenge. Really enjoyed it, and now time to go all the way back down with this nice comfy basket on. <laughs> ah.